and Pamela Williamson, Treatment and Coordinator for Clydesdale Treatment Rooms. So what was the aim of our project? The aim was to gather data to see if the first line dressing choices were formally compliant, and if not, the rationale for choosing this. If the dressing was changed during the patient attending the treatment rooms, was the second line dressing formally compliant? And again, if not, the rationale for this. It was also used to look at healing times of wounds from first visit to discharge, to look at whether there were any patterns on the healing noted, if it was formulary or equally, if not. Our project aim is by June 2023, the Lanark treatment rooms in Clydesdale will have achieved 95% reliability with first line antimicrobial dressing choices in line with NHS Lanarkshire wound management formulary and to reduce the use of specialist wound products as a first line dressing choice by 50%. So what did we do in our project and how did we do it? The project started in June 2022 when we selected 51 charts of patients who had been in Lanark treatment rooms, who had a swab of a wound obtained and or had been prescribed an antibiotic for wound infection. Each month since then we have pulled 10 wound charts a month as a snapshot with the same criteria and we will continue to do so until June of this year. Our cupboards in the clinical rooms at both Curlick and Lanark have been rearranged so that the formulary and non-formulary products are split up to see if this would make staff think a bit more about trying to adhere to the formulary when making their dressing choice. We also put a shortcut to the formulary on the desktop of every PC used by the trained staff in the clinical rooms on both sites so they could access this if needed to check any of the dressings. Each month the data was gathered by myself and Lindsay and collated and made into graphs such as this by Elise, the, quality, the Improvement Advisor at the Quality Directorate for NHS Lanarkshire. This was then displayed as a vision board so that the staff could see the data being produced and whether there had been any changes or improvements or even deteriorations noted as this project progressed. During the project, we met regularly with Elise and following one meeting halfway through, we decided to carry out an additional snapshot involving pulling charts for patients from May 2022 and November 2022, so that was before and during the project. The criteria for selecting the wound charts was the same, but this time we looked at the date the patient first attended, the date of discharge, how many days it took to heal, the wound that they had, the age of the patient, factors which could delay the healing, known allergies, the wound sites and type, was the dressing choice formally compliant and was there a swab obtained during their visit or was there any infection present? The projects have been carried out while still ensuring that we are delivering patient-centred care and have the patient's best interests at the heart of any decisions made on dressing choice. It was myself and Lindsay who pulled the wound charts each month and gathered the data and we worked closely with Elise, but it was also a team project as all the staff were updated regularly on the progress and had access to the vision board to see the monthly data. They also rearranged the cupboards and we have noted a change in the approach to the dressing selection by the team. We have also assigned a project to one of our band fives who has her V150 prescribing qualification to keep a note of how many prescriptions she's writing out for patients who are attending the treatment rooms. We received feedback that she had 100% compliance with her prescribing in the most recent report. This is also saving clinical time for both her and the, the GPs as she is not having to go to them when needing prescriptions written. It is also meaning the patients are getting their dressings slash topical treatments quicker as they're getting the prescription when they're in and taking it straight to the pharmacy. The most challenging part of the project was time. To pull the charts and gather the data each month to send to Elise is very time consuming and with staff vacancies and sickness and absence, finding the time to do this was challenging some months. What we're most proud of was what we worked as a team. We contributed to the project in different ways. It's been interesting to see the data each month and note changes being made within our treatment rooms, which will hopefully continue to be implemented going forward to make positive improvements to our service. 